November 22nd, 2018. This is police body camera video provided by the family's lawyer as officers enter the home where her son was staying. But let's start from the beginning. According to a lawsuit filed against Oceanside Police and the city, a report of tire slashing was called in by Timothy's father. His father had a restraining order against him, yet often invited him to visit. The lawsuit states his father called police, also mentioned there were guns already in the home. Timothy! Police came to investigate. Tim inside did not come out. Video shows police outside his door. An officer picked the lock, shining a light into his room. Hands! Hands! Let me see your hands hey, now. Bring, bring the dog up. You're going to get bit. With the police dog barking, you hear someone say, crawl him out, a command the Piper's attorney called confusing. Hey, crawl, crawl him out. Crawl out. We froze the moment right before an officer pushed him with a shield so you can see him better. Team 10 agreed to blur Tim's face. He was wearing only boxers with one hand raised, the other by his rib cage. His attorney said it appeared he was sleeping right before this. A second video showed Tim on the ground after being shoved back into the room, hands up, feet on the floor. Don't move or you're getting bit. Police pulled him up to arrest him. After that, the dog was released. He's in full surrender mode and it's captured on video and they yank him up. They pull him up by his arm. He trips over some some clothes and then it's just a brutal multi tactical attack on him at every different angle as, as he's screaming, you know, for his life. Pictures showed his injury, some of them pretty graphic. The lawsuit said one officer admitted to punching him with a closed fist and putting him in a chokehold. It said another shot him with a rubber bullet while Tim's arm was in the canine's mouth. There was a point in that video where he actually was asking, Dad, Dad, and uh, they were still on top of him. Is that still a threat? Tim has a criminal history. His most recent cases included public intoxication and possessing drug paraphernalia. But Josette said her son is schizophrenic, dealing with addiction. Do you feel that these officers were equipped to handle someone who has mental illness issues? Not at all. I don't think so. The Oceanside City Attorney defended officers. John Mullen said they waited more than an hour before entering the bedroom. At least 44 orders were made demanding Tim exit the room. He added one of Tim's hands was obscured, so officers deployed less than lethal tactics, including the canine. The city attorney said officers were called to the same address a month before, and Tim was combative and injured two of them. I asked if officers knew his mental health history and if the psychiatric emergency response team was requested. He said the city has no information concerning his mental state at the time of the incident or now. The family's lawyers dispute that, saying officers were aware of it from meetings they've had with opposing counsel. Josette wants to get her son help and firmly believes this oh, kids, kids, kids. could have been handled differently. They need